morning youtube family hope everybody's doing good today it's a beautiful january saturday morning out here on the farm it's double a farm with you this morning i'm gonna do a video uh, i've been thinking about this week and uh, i'm not an expert in this by no means whatsoever but I do think I somewhat do know tractor values fairly well. And that is classic tractor values, such as the 130 that is sitting here. And the Massey Harris Pony, the Farm All Cub, and other ones that I have here on the farm. So that's what I'm going to talk about in this video Again, I am no expert whatsoever. I've been around these tractors for many years. I used to sit on this old 130 when I was in elementary school when this tractor didn't run. Uh, on this piece of property, I'd sit on it and pretend to drive it and, and whatnot. And uh, then it actually came into existence of it of running, and I'll talk about that a little later on. So. Like I said, I'm no expert expert in tractor values, but I'm going to talk about what I think the values of these tractors are um, and some values that I've seen here recently of tractors um, and just give you a little insight on what I think about the market uh, itself. So hang with me as we go through tractor values. All right, I'm going to start off here with Farm All Cub. This is my grandfather's, my dad's old Farm All Cub. It's a 1930s model. I've checked it, but I do not remember exactly what year this Cub is. Um, I have planters for it. As you see here, we got cultivators. Um, pretty much, yeah. I'm going to say all original, but it is as it was. I'm going to say I'm second owner because I want to say that my dad has told me that my grandfather bought this tractor um, when it was new. So I'm going to say that this engine has been redone in the Farm All Cub. Um, I had it redone, I'm guessing, close to 10 years ago. Uh, it was, I had a, I had a former student of mine. He was a student at the time, him and his dad, um, rebuilt the engine on this tractor, uh, at the third school, the school I'm at now teaching. They, um, redid the engine for me. They rebuilt the engine and I went in and put the 12 volt system on it. And I might've done the 12 volt system before they ever rebuilt it. I'm not sure. But anyway. Uh, so this does have uh, a rebuilt engine in it. Uh, it is 12 volt uh, farm all cub. Now the value on this, if I placed a value on it, if I decided to sell it, I would sell it somewhere between 1250 to $1,500 is where I would sell this. It has been repainted. The uh, paint job is at least 15 years old uh, i would say because i actually painted it at the second school i was at um first tractor i ever painted um i painted it ever before actually the engine was even uh rebuilt in it so <coughs> excuse me so this it tractor I would say it would go about twelve fifty to fifteen hundred dollars, and that would have to include the cultivators. Cultivators got to go with it for it to have some value. Otherwise, you have a tractor that needs to be repainted and put in a show, or just drove around. That's about it. So, for it to be able to be used and to be worked. So, um, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. Um, I've seen some go a lot less, and I've seen some go a lot higher. I know a guy. Uh, I don't think he owns one of the biggest businesses we have here in town. Uh, but when they opened that business back up several years ago, I was told he had a farm all cub. I seen pictures of the farm all cub. And I was even asked if I wanted to buy the farm all cub. And it had the fresh paint job. It was actually stored inside. It was not used. It had the three, it had the blue, because you see a lot of blue 
cultivator parts on these. It had all the blue cultivator parts. It had the cultivators and all on it. And I think somebody took that guy for what he was, and that was he was rich. And somebody knew he was rich, and they took him for that because, from what I was told, he wanted to sell that farm all cut for $10,000. Um, my offer to them, to the person that told me it was for sale, um, was, of course, $1,500. Uh, because that was all the tractor, in my opinion, was worth. Even though it was painted, looked good, that's about all it's worth. I mean, cultivating, planting a garden, you can put a disc, a small disc behind it. It's about all they can do. So, um, like I said, I think somebody had taken, he had bought that tractor off of somebody, and he probably paid $10,000 for it because those people knew he had money, and therefore that's what he was wanting back at the tractor. And uh, he just didn't, they took him for what it was. So, but anyway, like I said, farm all cubs, depending on the condition, if they've been painted and all, I'd say top dollar, $1,500. On to the Massey Harris Pony. Now, this is one tractor. I haven't had a whole lot of dealings with these. Um, this is the first one I've ever had uh or drove or even been around and i've we've got two of them i've got a parts one and then i've got this one that actually does run um if i had to put them in a category they would be 12 to 1500 dollars as well depending on what you got on them you do have some some form of hydraulics on some of these. You, I've seen some pictures of some hydraulics on these. This one actually had a belly mower on it. I took the belly mower off. Uh, I actually, the back tires were pulled off of the parts tractor that I had. Um, I put a 12-volt system on it. I put the, the chrome stack on this tractor. Uh, and decided not to paint it. If I painted it, it probably would be worth $1,500, I would say, as it sits now. You know, if I tried to sell it, I'd probably try to sell it for 1000 or 1250 because, again, it's got a trailer hitch on it. And other than that, I don't, you ain't going to use it for a whole lot. I mean, it just, if you don't, especially if you don't have none of the implements. And I don't have any kind of implements. All I've got is a belly, belly mower, so I could sell it for a belly mower tractor if I wanted to, so, but that's about it as far as that. And like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the Massey Harris Pony. Um, so, but again, I'd price them in about the same category as the Farm All Cub, $1,000, $1,500, depending on whether they're painted or got some kind of equipment with it that uh, the tractor could be used for, so... There's my value on that, 1000 to 1500 Massey Harris Pony Tractor. Now for the Farm All 130. Um, I'm going to save a Farm All 140 for last because I do want to talk about it in some, th some, some detail. Um, but the 130 here, this 130 has been in our family for many, many years. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I used to sit on this tractor. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd sit on this tractor as a, a youngster and pretend like I was driving it and that type of thing. Um, and then I'm going to say late 80s, early 90s. Uh, my uncle came down, him and my cousin, we actually loaded this tractor up on a trailer uh took it to a neighbor in town where they have a uh international dealer uh dealership uh and left it with them and i think the i don't know what all the dealer did to it um i think it cost anywhere from seven eight hundred dollars and they got it back running it ran good stayed down here for a few years and then my uncle took it up to virginia so and then uh, i'd say about two years now a year ago two years ago now he uh, had it sent back down here uh, i put a 12 volt system on it and it's been running great ever since uh, up till i did have that issue not too long ago with whatever was going on but i changed the uh, put new belts on it and all of that so um 130 and the 140 are pretty much all in the same i don't think there's a horsepower difference there whatsoever um you know there's body style and difference of course because the 140's got a little bit of a square hood to it 
Um, but they're pretty much the same. Uh, this one does have uh, the McCormick or Farmall one-point hitch system on it. And, of course, I've got the one, the three-point hitch um, arms and the top link portion there that I put on it. And I do have three-point hitch arms for this. Plus, I've got the, the one-point hitch that is on it there. Um, and the one-point hitch was what was on it originally and used. We had a one-point hitch disc. We had a um, one-point hitch to bottom plow for it. And, of course, the cultivators and all that for this tractor. So um, I've got a different disc at this point that y'all see me use. And I got the turn plow and, and some other things that I, I can use on this tractor. So... Um, Anyway, value as far as this tractor, if it was painted, you might could sell this tractor for $2,000 as it sits today. You know, if, if I were to sell it, probably $1,500, maybe $1,750 uh, as it sits um, because you do have cultivators and the one-point hitch and you've got some equipment to go with it. But uh, like I said, if it was painted, uh, I'm sh I know the value wouldn't be over $2,000. Uh, whatsoever now are there people out there that would sell them for more than that yes uh they would sell them they if you took this to auction you probably could get three thousand dollars out of it especially if you had the equipment with it most likely so um you know but i i must say in, in my opinion uh two thousand dollars is pretty good for this if you do have it painted fixed up uh, tires on this one's in great shape. Uh, the front tires are practically brand new. The back tires, you can tell, ain't hardly nowhere on those. They're the same. So, I mean, just a good, good tractor. Um, now, a cousin of this tractor and what this tractor frame was built off of was the A and Super A. Um, well, and you had the 100 as well. Uh, the 100 is the same kind of frame. And, and the biggest difference in those really and truthfully was grill guard. As you can see here, this is supposed to be white and it's yellow now, rusty and yellow. Um, but those were white, whereas the grill guard on your Super A's were red. And then you had the, the different badging on them. Okay, and this has got the metal badging. I don't have the 130 emblem that goes here. I think it may be nope, not on either side. But, uh, of course, the badging was different on the 100, 130, uh, and the 140 on some of them. Um, Super A had the regular vinyl decal type things on them. Um, so the badging was different. But as far as anything else, there's nothing, nothing, nope, well, it may be, you know, you've got this piece here, which would be different uh, from the 130 to the Super A. Uh, I've used a 100 before. I don't remember if the 100 had that on it or not. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, Super A's have a one-point hitch on them. You put a three-point hitch on them. They all use the same motor, same hydraulic system. Everything else is the same. The frame's the same. I mean, there's no difference there. So if you put a Super A, and I've got a Super A at, at, at school that I'm working on, um, it, they all going to be priced the same. You know, uh, Super A, you get 1500 or 1750 if they are in running order and, and running good, painted up probably, and, and got you, your equipment with them. You ain't going to see them. You shouldn't see them over fifteen hundred, seventeen fifty at the most over two thousand dollars being sold for. Uh, they just it's not worth it. And the same thing with the one hundred. The one hundred is going to be in the same boat. They're all the same frame, again, same engines, same hydraulic systems. It's all the same. So they're they're all built off of the same groundwork whatsoever. So. Um, and people will that people will price them different day after day after day if you put a super a here a 100 and a 130 all side by side and we're selling them somebody else was selling them they'd sell them you'd see a price 
increase from the one the super eight all the way up to the 130 uh might be a couple of hundred dollars might be a thousand dollars difference in between them it's even if they were painted so but no difference just a little body just a little body coloration difference and and maybe a few other knickknacks but other than that everything is the same engine frame and all so there should not be a whole lot of difference in price with those tractors for resale now you get into the 140s and i have seen farmall mccormick international 140s go for some ridiculous prices here lately um i just saw an auction I don't know. It was about two weeks ago. It might have been an auction. It was an auction before Christmas. And there was a Farmall International 140. I don't think it was painted. Sold for $6,500. $6,500 for a 140. I don't have a 140 in my possession. But it's no different than this. Other than having that hood that, that comes out and is sort of squared off at the front, there is no difference in a Super A, a 130, a 100, and a 140. They're all, again, built on the same engine, same hydraulic, same transmission, same framework all the way through. But somebody bought that Farmall or that International 140 for 6500 dollars and you don't get the all you get was on the tractor it didn't care if it was a disc and a bottom ply and a planter or whatever else sitting beside it all that sold separately you know if it had cultivators on that's the only thing going with the tractor so somebody got a tractor and maybe cultivators for 6500 dollars and i thought to myself lord i'd love to have i'd love to have 10 or 12 140s um and find that cat and sell him all of them because he's obviously got a lot of money he need to burn because again 140s shouldn't be over 2500 dollars if it's painted if it's not painted it's going to be somewhere around 230 or not 230 excuse me 2000 if it's painted and got some cultivators with it maybe a disc 2500 2750 um and that's about it it should not be any higher than that so um people just go crazy over them 140s i don't know why uh, but the market for a farm mall or an international 140 is outrageous the prices just jump and jump and jump anymore like i said that that 6500 dollar one just just floored me because there's no way that tractor should have went somebody just didn't know what didn't know what tractor values was obviously um or that 140 was highly valued in his in his opinion um and he needs to he needs to have a take a lesson in tractor values because whoo she's 500 for a 140 uh that's crazy uh that is crazy like i said they should not be over about 2500 or 2750 uh, when it comes to their value because again you can line them all up they all the same framework and everything. You just got a few paint differences, hood, body styling differences. That's about it. So, this one, hey, I, this one has no hydraulics on it, so therefore, it's just a tractor, just something to drive around. You know, painted as is, and it being an industrial tractor, again, a thousand dollars. I don't even know that I could take it to twelve fifty. I mean, yes, it's an industrial tractor. Yes, it does have the heavier uh, axle, front axle on it with that square tubing axle to it. And, of course, it's got this ex extra br brace piece on it. So nothing else. And it's got the um, foot throttle aspect on it there. But otherwise, there's nothing that makes this tractor any more exceptional than a regular A, a Super A, the 130 or the 100 or 140. So um, no cultivators, nothing like that. Like I said, 
uh, having a paint job would put it at about a thousand dollars and that'd be all you could about say for it because all you're gonna do with this is pull a trailer like i do for pulling getting up hay um like we did this past summer or, or just riding it around in a parade or, or something of that nature that's about it so all right the farm all super c of course this one's painted up real nice again this is sitting on the same engine, transmission, and hydraulic system as the 140, the 130, the 100, the Super A, all the same engines, all that. Uh, not a lot of difference, of course, different frame because of being the tricycle. Of course, you can get these in a wide front uh, tractor as well. Um, you can extend the wheels out the back wheels you've got the extendability on those um you can put cultivators i have the cultivators on all four of this super c um but again value on this is going to stay two thousand twenty five hundred dollars you're not gonna go eat much on that i mean even though it does have the cultivators it is painted it does have a two the two-point hitch on it i have um three-point hitch arms for it um as you see there i do got the top link on it right now for the, the three-point hitch i mean still you're at two thousand twenty five hundred dollars being painted um, now you did have some of the C's, Super C's that didn't have the two point hitch on it. Um, those would go down to about $1,500 if it was painted. Um, they did have hydraulics on them, but they didn't have the, the two point hitch on it. They'd have, you could put a back set of cultivators and I've actually got a back set of cultivators for these tractors, uh, that you could use. Um, but again, they would be in the same boat of fifteen hundred, twelve fifty to fifteen hundred if it was painted. And again, this, the having the two point hitch and the extra top link portion on this tractor would raise this one up. I would say to two thousand dollars. Maybe if you pushed it and had an implement on it, it would go to twenty five hundred dollars. I would say, but you're not going to go much above that. So, um, again, great tractor, and I love it. Um, if I had to put one as my favorite tractor, the Super C is my favorite farm all. I would say that all day long. Um, the Super C is a great tractor, and I love them. Um, but as far as value, uh, you're just going to have to keep the value in there with the 140s and the 130s and all that because, you know, they can all about do the same thing. You know, this one, yes, you can with these um, Super C's. You did have the capability of doing cultivating two rows at a time, planting two rows at a time because of the narrow front end and the width of the, the back tires. You did have that capability, but again, it's not going to put that value that much higher, uh, again, to take it up into the $3,000 range. So um, I just have to leave this at, like I said, $25 hundred dollars or so would be the the estimated value on the farm all super c all right the farm all h this h does run uh, y'all have seen it in video i think i had it in the square bailing video this this summer i believe but it does run and of course one of the good things about this one is it does have the wide front uh, of course many of them most of them had the narrow front like the super c had well, this one does have the narrow front, which makes this, I would say, a little bit more consumable because you don't have a lot of people saw the narrow front as a safety hazard. Uh, a lot of people rolled those tractors over to one across a hill or something and, and, and got killed. There have been many incidences of that over the year. So, um, so more desirable having the front and the wide front end on this of course this tractor is not painted it does have one uh hydraulic um line on it uh it has regular hitch on it um i do have a three-point hitch that could go on it i actually pulled that three that uh, three-point hitch off of a um 
foam all M. Um, but to work that, you actually have, an, have to have an, Yeah, to work that three-point hitch, you have to have a uh, auxiliary hookup, which actually goes right here and it actually runs up and it will be another um, rod and line that goes on there. And I've looked at getting that, uh, just hadn't done it or making one myself and I want to do that uh, to be able to maybe run the um, hay rake on or something like that or just to be able to have the, the two remotes in the back or the two hydraulics in the back. So, uh, of course, this does have... Uh, more horsepower than the Super C. Um, not sure how much more displacement horsepower. I think the Super C is in the 25, 30 horsepower range. This is probably maybe 35 horsepower if I had to guess. Um, but I may not even be right on that. I've never looked at specs on what a H was. Now you did have a Super H and this could be a Super H. I'm not sure. I said, I've not looked at any any name plates or anything like that on this, so I don't know year or nothing like that. All I know is it is an H. So, um, value on this, unpainted, but with having the wide front end, I would put maybe 3000 on it. Uh, I don't know that I'd even go that high. I'm probably $2,500 again unpainted. If it was painted uh, I can, and had the three-point hitch off, if it was painted and had the three-point hitch, I could definitely put 3000 on this tractor uh, with no problem uh, easily. Um, but unpainted like it sits now, I might even have to drop back to $2,000 probably on this because, again, you've got one remote. I mean, I've got a disc tear that <coughs> this tractor would pull, and it is worked by one remote um, or one hydraulic um, line, and I wouldn't have any problem pulling that because I've got another H that is painted um, in another area uh, that's stored away. Um, and I've pulled my disc tear with that H before and had no problems whatsoever. So. And again, sitting sitting like this tractor is uh, with just the one hydraulics line, just a pull type hitch on it, not painted with the front end. I'd I I would go two thousand or twenty two fifty, uh, really and truthfully. So um, I couldn't I couldn't couldn't live with myself and sell it for more than that. So uh, you may not even get that for it. So. Um, tires on it's good and that's a good thing about it like i said you know it runs pretty good needs a little tuning but it wouldn't be hard to put some paint on it um and if you put a, a, like i said that extra portion to be able to work another uh hydraulic line on it had the two hydraulic lines on it then you could probably save really and truthfully twenty five hundred dollars so um but anyway that's the value on the farmall h all right, here I am with the Farmall B. Of course, it's got a little bit different paint scheme to it. This is actually, I painted this for my wife, for parades and stuff. So I put a little honey bee type illustration on it and put uh, some pink lettering on it. I actually was gonna paint the whole tractor pink and um, that was gonna cost a lot. So I just painted red and did pink emblems on it. So it's got a lot of stuff around it cause it is in storage. This tractor's in our storage shelter. So. But the farm I'll be, uh, again, being painted, value of this is gonna be right around $1,000 because I don't know that they ever put hydraulics on it. It doesn't have hydraulics on it. All it has is a draw bar. Of course, these tractors had a narrow front end. You see the, the tires on the narrow front end there on it. Never seen a wide front on these. Most of these I've seen, I have seen a, them pulling, I've seen one a video of one pulling a disc before. Um, but most of these you see them uh, for parade type tractors. So that's about all this one is too. So like I said, value somewhere right around a thousand dollars on these. So. I've got my other Farmall H sitting here. And again, uh, this is in store. This one I've got painted up, got a nice stack and all on it. Again, this has got um, hydraulics and everything is all the same. It's got one hydraulic um, line on it again. 
If I had to sell it or wanted to sell it, I'd probably put a $2,000 price tag on it because again, pull a disc with it, pull a bush hog with it, ride it in a parade, that's about it. So. All right, the Alice Chalmers B. Um, this one, not sure all what's wrong with it. Uncle sent it down here. One day I might uh, work on this. I know the oil pan's gone off of it. It's got good, very good rubber on it. It's got some kind of hydraulic system on it. Just run off of the the uh, belts there. You can see it's coming off the generator. I'm going down to running a, a uh, hydraulic system, a hydraulic valve right there. So it's pretty neat. Pretty neat little system there they've got on this. Um, I've seen these with a makeshift three-point hitch. This has got a little makeshift three-point hitch on it. I've got some three-point arms on it. Um, I've seen these with cultivators on them, belly mowers, you name it, I've seen them. So, uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what I don't even know if this tractor's locked up or not. Most of these you're gonna see again in the 1500 range if they're fixed up and got some stuff with them, maybe even painted up. Uh, for the most part, running, they going to be about $1,500, uh, $1,250 to $1,500 sitting in that range So for the most part. Alice Chalmers being, you did have the Alice Chalmers C, which had the narrow front end on it. I've been around a couple of those before. Um, and again, they'd be in the same, same category um, of value. Yeah, then you got the Farmall M. Uh, this one, of course, does not run. Uh, it actually had the three-point hitch on it. Um, I don't know how good it was or whatever, but like I said, this tractor has not run. We, Uncle sent it down here, and we unloaded it. It's been here sitting here ever since. So, um, see a lot of these is pulling tractors. Some still being used. I've got a, a MD at work. Uh, then I'm going to be painting up for a former student of mine. It's got the wide front end on it. So if you find it with a wide front end, it's fairly um, desirable. Um, and the MDs are desirable as they are because of it being a diesel, starts on gas. And switching that tractor over to uh, a diesel running mechanism. So, um, but anyway... This one was running and had a paint job on it. You may could go for 2750, 3000 if it had a couple of hydraulic valves on it. Maybe $3,500 um, at best, I would say. Uh, heavy tractors, uh, good tractors, good pulling tractors. A lot of people like these in the early days of being able to use them and, and having these. But um, as far as... as um, price like i said i wouldn't say no more than three thousand thirty five hundred if it had some hydraulic lines on it if it was running good if it was painted up uh, like i said the md at school uh that i've got uh as it's sitting right now uh it's at thirty five hundred dollars um maybe even four thousand um for those type tractors so um you a good tractor. You just got to you just got to uh, pick the values there of of these and, and go from there. So um, behind it, I actually have a Massey Harris Super Forty Four. I'm actually going to be painting it, or not painting. Hopefully, I'm going to get this tractor running. Um, it actually has regular pull hitch, and I don't know if you could do a three point hitch on these or not. I'm not sure. It's got a couple of remote valves you see this one's turned backwards but does have uh, availability of the remotes on it um i don't know a whole lot about these tractors again a lot of people use these as pulling tractors um i don't remember if this one's got a 12 volt yep this one's got 12 volt system on that's one of the reasons why i want to get this down to the house and actually tinker with it some because it's in pretty 
pretty decent shape. You know, I have turned this tractor over since I've had it in my possession. So I put hooked the battery to it one day and turned it over so I know it's free. And I think we could crank this one up. I just gotta get Dee Dee over here and we're gonna pull this tractor to the house and and uh, try to work on it and get it running sometime. So uh, if I had to stick a value on it, it's gonna probably be in about the same value with that M behind it, probably $3,000, uh, probably. Um, painted up nice running nice that type of situation like i said probably about three thousand twenty seven fifty three thousand dollars on that so and i've got some other tractors there is a alex chalmer c this cousin to the b that i was uh mentioned a little bit ago he's got a belly mower on it again as sitting you know if it was running didn't have paint job on it again twelve fifty fifteen hundred dollars just because it does have the belly mower on it here um i've got an international 300 sitting here it's two point hitch got good rubber on it this actually would go a, a little higher um just because and i think this tractor would run i just never could get it to run um this would go a little bit higher because this is more of your modern type almost tractors uh so you could probably go on up to the four thousand forty five hundred for this if it's running and, and going good because you can put just a regular old three-point hitch on these it's got the place of the top link on it there you put your three-point arms inside the two-point hitch arms there and, and you're good to go so um these would sit probably if you're running looking nice you could probably get four thousand dollars out of old 300 so I've got a few others sitting here, but we've talked about all them um, as well. So, anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this may end up being a two-part video because it's probably going to be very long because we do have a, quite an extensive line of old equipment sitting here on our farm. So, um, but anyway, just wanted to do this video. Like I said, I'm in no way an expert on um, these tractors. Uh, but the values, but it's just the way I see it and the way I've seen the market on these over the years and um, what I've seen them sell for and and what I feel. Uh, like I said, I've been in this for for good many years now um, and been around these tractors for a good many years. And so I feel like I do have a pretty good good take on, on what the value is on these tractors and, and these equipment. So... Um, Hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I uh, hope everybody has a great day. It's a beautiful day the Lord has made us. Uh, let's be glad and, and thank him for it. Um, have a great day. Thanks for watching. And God bless each and every one of you.